Hey guys, it's been a while since you've heard from me, but um, I've come in with another review. Um, I've bought this tent here. It is the Bushbuck Solo 8000. Now um, I purchased this tent uh, during lockdown actually, so I only just got to use it the other day and um, I was pretty impressed. But I'm going to go over a couple of features with you and just uh, show you how the tent looks, how easy it is to set up and um, yeah, we'll go from there. So this tent from Bushbuck is um, definitely cheaper than a lot of the single man and um, two man three to four season tents that are out there. Um, it's light. I'll get the actual specs but I believe it's about 1.6 kilos all up um, and it's definitely small. It's only about yay big but I'll pack it up, show you and I'll show you a video of how big it is. There you go. That's the size in comparison to my cell phone, my hand really little the tent's really little um, it comes with a footprint as you can see here in the video uh, so it's just pretty much a thicker piece of I don't know what the what the uh, nylon I guess that goes on the ground before you put the tent the main tent down and to be honest I probably wouldn't use it without it especially in the bush because with all the sticks and that on the ground you're probably going to end up with something going through the bottom of it because it's very thin and I suppose that's why it's so light is because the tent is so thin now it comes with uh, a whole bunch of aluminium um, or bright orange pegs so nice not to lose in the dark but they if you don't have boots on right now right now I'm barefoot it can be a bit of a pain to set up because you can't push them into the ground because they're so sharp um, got all the uh, guide ropes you'd expect here at um, NZ blokes we do honest reviews and would be wrong not to tell you that there were a couple of issues I had with it that are just simple manufacturing issues um, so for one, the, where the fly sheet is supposed to velcro onto the poles, it's one of the pieces of velcro uh, is sewed on so that they're both facing the same way so you can't actually do it up. Um, and then one buckle was threaded the wrong way around so you can't do up one of the clips. But I've been in contact with Bushbuck and they are more than happy to sort those out for me. So I wouldn't count that as a mark against them. It's, you know, mistakes happen in factories. Anyway, um, nice and light, uh, super portable. I also got it with the air mattress which I'll show you. Now you can set it up as how it is there. You can see with the uh, fly sheet over the top or you can set it up actually with just the footprint and just the fly sheet. So the fly sheet will stand on the poles by itself if you don't want to carry the whole tent if you're fly camping for instance in summer. It is quite small inside. It's obviously a single man tent so you can fit yourself in there, your rifle next to you, your clothes and you can put your cooker out, the vestibule up the front However, uh, if you have a big pack like me, I've got an 85 litre pack and when I stick it under either the side gear stowage compartment or in the front vestibule, it touches the side. So you'd want to make sure you have your rain cover on your pack just in case. Right, so now I'll show you inside. So uh, those of you that have watched my videos in the past know that I'm uh, more of a fly camping guy. I always just get up underneath the tarp and um, do it that way because I've just never had tents really. Um, but I was looking at a lot of tents that are out there and they're very expensive and then this one came up from Bushbuck and I think I paid $380 or so. I'll put the price up um, in the description but um, it was too good a deal really not to go for. So I ended up going with this tent and yeah here's a look inside. So as you can see through the front there, 
the side has little tags there that go out to the um, ropes out the side there to pull the sides out a little bit. Let's see if we can see. So as you can see, either side of me, it's a bit of room, you know. Put your rifle down there. It's got a hook up the top. Here's it, there it is. Hang your light from, and it's got a little pouch up here. Stick your cell phone, whatever. Look out the front. Bit of room there to set your cooker up. So if we're being honest, it's not sort of the tent you'd want to spend, you know, a full day stuck in the in the rain. Um, but you know, it's something you could do, you know, if the situation called for it. It wouldn't be the most comfortable day, but it's better than being wet. Now it does have a um, little venting uh, window at the back here. I'll show you that. It's just got a little piece of plastic there that folds away to one side, and then the can be closed in rough weather. One thing that I definitely like about this tent is all the reflective strips on it. All of that's reflective. All of these are reflective. And I went through the bush and shined on the tent and it's bright as. So there's no missing your tent at night. So uh, this here is the Bushbuck Cumulus Light. It is uh, the inflatable thermalite mattress that Bushbuck produces. Now it comes in this stuff sack, which I'll get to in a moment, but the mattress is pretty small. So I used to have one of those big ones that had foam in them and you'd undo them, uh, but even when they rolled up, they're really long. My one was almost two kilos. So this one here is a lot lighter. So the stuff sack. It comes here with a whole bunch of instructions about blowing into the stuff sack first, capturing it, and then using that to blow into the um, into the mattress, like it's a big pump essentially. Now I couldn't see the reason behind it. I tried it. It's just like double handling the air going into the mattress. So. I put that when I did a small review on my Instagram and somebody said to me it's because you don't want the condensation from your breath going into the mattress and then causing it to get mildew in there and to rot. That made sense to me at the time until I gave it some thought and thought well if you're blowing into this your condensation's going to this and then if it doesn't have time to settle you're just blowing it into the mattress anyway so I don't know if that's right or wrong but I can't be bothered blowing it into the stuff sack, so I just blow it straight into the mattress. Hopefully that gives you a bit of a size perspective as to how big the tent is. Um, you wouldn't want to be too tall in this tent to be honest, because my head was touching the top of here, and I wasn't too far off the bottom either, and I'm only 5'9". Uh, so you uh, long boys out there might uh, struggle a little bit in there. But anyway, uh, one of the cool features I'll show you about this mattress, which I think is really awesome, is the relief valve on the bottom here. So if you put that open, you've got this little button. And when you're sitting on it, see if I can be an area. So when you're sitting on it, uh, you push this little button and air comes out. So you can be lying on the mattress, reach up behind you, push the button, and you get it to just the right uh, amount of firmness for your liking, which was pretty handy. Um, it's not the widest mattress in the world, but I've said it in other videos, you know, it's a um, it's a compromise between uh, space and weight and you know how comfortable you want to be. So up to you. If you want to, you know, carry heavy stuff, that's your choice. I like to not carry too much stuff so I can carry more meat out. Um, I like the tent. I really do like it. I haven't put it through its paces as far as wild weather goes yet, but it was easier to set up. Um, I only set it up for the second time in the bush and it took a bit longer than it should have but that's just because I didn't know what I was doing. Um, this time when I set it up it was a lot easier. Once those couple of faults that I told you about earlier have been rectified the tent will be mint and um, yeah I'll be looking at, at doing some solo missions and when Ghost my little pup is um, fully trained he can uh, sneak down into the bottom of the tent there as long as he's got something to cover in his paws so he doesn't put holes in my t new tent. Okay, so there you have it. It's the Bushpuck Solo 8000 one man three season tent. On the website it says three to four seasons, so I suppose that four seasons at your own risk. 
Um, I just checked online, it's running at the moment for $250. That's about as cheap a two-man tent that's good quality that uh, you'll find um, on the internet, I'd say, especially for what we do as hunters. Um, 1.48 kilos max, it reckons. So we'll jump on inside and we'll chuck it on the scales and we'll see if it's right. Also, go to the dog and gun website and get yourself some um, cool t-shirts and hats and thermoses and all sorts of other cool stuff. Um, and some coffee while you're there actually. I suppose that's sort of the main reason they're there. Um, yeah, so jump down into the description. I'll put a link to this on, on the Bushbuck website so you can have a look at that. Um, you know where to find it. Um, I got that air mattress, the Cumulus Light, uh, as a bundle deal at the time. I think it, you know, you paid an extra 100 bucks or 80 bucks or whatever and you got that with it. So keep an eye out because Bushbuck's always running good sales. Um, you know, the Kiwi owned company. I don't know where they produce this stuff. Can't imagine it's in New Zealand, but I like to support Kiwi companies. So um, that's the honest review from me. Before we go, let's uh, check the weight and see if it is in fact 1.48 kilos. I guess there's a minimum on that one. Let's try the kitchen scales. Got the trusty kitchen scales. All right, 1.6. Uh, scales could be out at like $11 in the warehouse, but either way, it's under two kilos. So I think my sleeping bag's close to two kilos um, because I haven't got an expensive one yet, but there you go. Still light as anything.